There's a Notre Dame staff that has an ERA that is seventh best in the country. Fourth in the country in strikeouts per nine innings pitch, tenth in whip. And the bullpen, a major player in all of those numbers. Woodberg's got to be careful. Tony Vitello chopping, and somebody's got tossed. Frank Anderson's all the way out of the dugout. You can't, you can't do that. I'm sorry. You cannot. And Frank Anderson just got ejected. I think he just got thrown out twice. That, that you can't do that, man. I don't care if, if the rule says you can't argue balls and strikes. Then quite honestly, you should throw everybody out of the game the entire time because it happens consistently. There was nobody out of the dugout. I, I don't know what was said, but I don't like this one. Tennessee fans all. show their displeasure. If you're going to run somebody when they say one thing about arguing balls and strikes, that happens 40 times during the course of the game. You can't, it, it, for me, it's got to be either throw everybody out the minute that they say something, or it better be prolonged enough that there's a reason. That definitely was not prolonged enough. Kellen Levy is a home plate umpire. He primarily works the Big West and the Pac 12. Here's the other thing the book is out. Yes. And, and when guys show up, especially if they're not in the SEC and they haven't had Tennessee over the course of the year, they've seen all the stuff on Twitter. They, they've heard about it, and yeah, it's, it's boisterous sometimes. But man, this is a quick hook. Well, that's, that's maybe a little aggressive right now for Gilbert. I'll tell you that. I thought he threw out Frank Anderson. What Gilbert turned around and said, that can't get you wrong. You're not going to hear this very often if you're a home plate umpire that's that's directly at him and he he did not waste any time. If you run it back you can see what's said and, and I thought he threw Frank Anderson out. They got Gilbert and Anderson Gilbert first and then when Anderson came out the on deck circle and then Scott Latendre the third base umpire was voicing his displeasure telling Tony Vitello to go back in the dugout so much so that Billy Van Rapport's put his hand on Latendre and tried to calm him down. And everybody's blood gets boiling yes. when Tennessee's in that dugout. Yeah. We saw it earlier this season when Tony Vitello bumped an umpire, Billy Maceias, and then everybody just gets a little fired up. Yeah, I, I think that um, you know that that is part of this, okay? Is if you I, I love the fire that Tennessee plays with. I think it's better for the game across the board. However, they play with more fire than anybody does in the country. Sometimes when you play with fire, you know what happens. Gilbert spun around and said what you generally cannot say to a home plate umpire. And rolled back. It's it's not a great surprise that he was asked to leave. It was just quick, and I think that's what gets everybody. A lot of times when somebody gets thrown out, it leads up to it. There's stuff that goes to it. When it is that quick, that's what got everybody fired up. And then it got Frank Anderson run. So Drew Gilbert is done, and this Tennessee team has lost one of its key players, and not just from an emotional standpoint, but one of their best hitters for the rest of this game. Waiting to see who Tennessee will send out to hit. They will assume a 1 1 count. And Jared Dickey's going to enter the game in Gilbert's spot. Dickey had to get his stuff and get ready. Man, oh man. Okay, so I, I, I would just say this, all right? I mean, here's Gilbert when he spins. You can't say that. You just can't. And I understand that they play with fire and everything else, but you cannot turn to a home plate umpire and say that and then be surprised when they throw you out. 